Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how do you upload multiple files to FTP server using SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can upload the multiple files to FTP server. So let's jump to the demo. In my D files location I got 4 CSV files email.csv drug company data to upload addresses.csv. So I want to upload all these CSV files to the FTP server. So I got an FTP server here FTP colon forward slash forward slash and then the IP address of the FTP server and then on the root directory we got the three CSV files. So there is an export directory on the FTP server and if I open the export directory and even if I refresh the page so right now this export directory is empty. So I want to upload all the four CSV files those are situated in my D files location to the export folder on the FTP server. So let's see how we can do that using the SSIS. So this is my blank SSIS package and because we need to upload multiple files so we will be using a for each loop container so that we can loop through all the files and then we can get the file path and then using the FTP task we can upload the files. So first of all let me just drag and drop the for each loop container into the control flow window and let me configure the for each loop container. I can go to the collection and under enumerator I can select the for each file enumerator okay and then under location I can just browse the location D files location so I want to upload the files from the D files location and what type of files I want to upload so I want to upload all the CSV files so I can put star dot CSV okay so it will loop through all the CSV files if you want to make this particular path D files location is dynamic then you can create an SSIS variable and then you can assign the directory property with the new variable that you create but in this case I will just leave this particular location as it is and then I can go to the variable mappings and under variable mapping I will create a new variable here and the, I will call my new variable as file path and then maybe I can provide some default value so the default value I can provide is d files addresses dot csv and now I can click on ok ok so now if I will execute my SSIS package then this particular for each loop will iterate through all the csv files all the four csv file so now let me just drag and drop the FTP task into the for each loop container and then I can configure the FTP task so I can right click and edit it under connection I need to create the FTP connection here so I can create a new connection here and then under server name I need to provide the FTP server name so what I can do I can actually go back and so this is the root directory path of the FTP server so I can copy the FTP server value from here and I can paste it here I can remove this thing FTP colon forward slash forward slash I can remove this one and then under username I need to provide the FTP username so my FTP username is FTP hyphen user and then I can provide my password here now I can click on test connection so it is saying that connection cannot be established there is some issue so actually there is a forward slash here so I can remove the forward slash from here and then I can click on test connection so now the test connection is succeeded I can click on ok ok and now I can go to the file transfer option here and then under operations I need to select the send file so it is al already selected send file so I want to send the files to the FTP server now under local parameters is local path variable so I need to set it to true because local file path is stored in a SSIS variable and now under local variable I will select the variable that I created file path because file path is stored the path of the CSV file that will be uploaded to the FTP server now under remote parameters is remote path variable no the remote path is not stored in SSIS variable so I can leave it to false and now under remote path I need to provide the location of the path I want to upload the files to the export directory so I can write forward slash and then the directory path so this is the directory path export okay so I can just use this one this particular path I can use in the SSIS package alright overwrite file at dust so it will override the file if the same file already exists at the FTP server so I can set it to true and now our FTP task has been configured and now I can click on OK and now I can execute my SSIS package so this should upload all the four CSV files from my local machine to the FTP server so the package ran fine and it should have uploaded four files to the FTP server so I can go back to the FTP server 
and here I can refresh the FTP server. So now you can see that four CSV files have been uploaded to the FTP server on the export directory. So these are the four CSV files. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.